Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is the set that I'm going to create in today's video and these are the products that I'm going to use. So these are XXX low curve needle tips that um, are available on the above website and the rest of the acrylics are from Glitter Bells and Nails by John. The start of this video, I'm going to be doing it in real time just to let you see how I apply this acrylic. The Nails by John acrylic is um, designed to be applied in one bead. Um, I'm still getting to grips with that and um, obviously I'm doing my non-dominant hand as well. So it is going to be a little bit more tricky for me, but um, I do absolutely love the product. Um, this is a different colour. You can see on my left hand there, I also have um, the pink, which I did in my previous video, which was also Nails by John. But as you can see, it is quite a huge um, bead of acrylic that I'm putting on the nails. But the whole thing about the Nails by John's acrylic is it's got such a slow setting time that you do have all the time that you need just to perfect it around the cuticle and then obviously to bring all that acrylic right down to the free edge. So as I said, I am still trying to get to grips with the whole one bead method. I'm still a bit sort of um, picking up, you know, the correct size of beads and just getting um, it right down to the free edge. I do get it right down to the free edge and I do get um, my apex and my cuticle but I always seem to end up with a dip between the free edge and the apex so I usually have to go in and put another bead so I will keep practicing and practicing and practicing um, as we all should always do and um, we're always learning new things I'm always um, willing to try new things and um, I never stop learning so I'm keeping this in real time speed just to let you see how it's done and then for the remainder of the video I'm going to be putting it up to double speed. One of the other things I noticed about this acrylic, which I really, really like, as you can see my little paper towel that I normally wipe out my brush on, you can see that it's clear. So there isn't any pigment that comes off um, the brush. So it's, oh, I, I have nothing but praise for this product so far. Um, price wise, it is on point as well. As you know, I um, absolutely love Glitter Bells um, and their price point is really really on point as well but the um the nails by john obviously i'm paying in sterling in great british pounds and this is an american site so whenever they're not on sale they're 15 dollars um so that works out i think at just over 11 dollars for or 11 yeah 11 pounds for me which really actually isn't that bad the postage um for international postage um, there was a bit of an issue, but um, Nails by John, John sorted it out straight away and I can't, you know, thank him enough for that. So the system for any um, international delivery, especially to the UK, they will charge you $85. $85. Um, when it arrived, um, it was only $24.70, $24.70 and I contacted John and he refunded the difference immediately. What he did say though was that if I reorder, the system will still charge me $85, but as soon as I contact him and show him the um, price that's on the package, he will uh, refund immediately as again, again. So I really can't fault his customer service or anything at all. So while I was babbling on there, I've now moved on to the pointer finger. So the little finger, the pointer finger and the thumb are all gonna be a full coverage of this Nails by John colour. So while I was babbling on there, as you can see, I've moved on to the pointer finger now and I picked up another huge bead of that acrylic and um, I've placed it on just before the cuticle area. So as you can see, the, it hasn't started to mattify as yet. So this is why this acrylic is perfect, especially for beginners or for those of us who are trying <laughs> to um, work with longer nails and fewer beads. 
So I do, I do have to say that it definitely does what it says. Um, John's sort of whole motto is work smarter, not harder. And um, but by using this system, I have already noticed that I use less monomer. And obviously, um, because I'm applying it like a core powder with such a huge bead, when we're working with other coloured acrylic systems, we put the coloured acrylic on almost as if we paint it on and we're putting it on really, really thinly and we're not worrying about, you know, apexes and etc. So with um, this system, John has said that it is strong enough not to have to cap it. The left hand, um, the pink on the left hand, it has not been capped at all and I have had no breakages, no problem with them whatsoever. They are definitely as strong as if they've been capped. But um, I think sometimes until I get the correct sort of um, product bead, bead size that I don't have that dip from my apex to my free edge, I may just fill that area in with a little bit more of clear or um, I may just continue just to fill it in with the same colour. So I am going back to the little finger now and I'm just going to fill in that space, um, that dip that I had from the apex to the free edge. So I have picked up a bead but because this acrylic works so different it's kind of you need to set it on and just leave it. Just let it sit for you know a few seconds. I don't know if it is really really designed for this purpose. It just seems to not work the way I want it to work, the way normal acrylic would work. Um, so maybe this acrylic is more or less literally just done for a one bead. But I can see now, as I've sort of played with it a little bit, um, let it sort of start to settle, it's spreading a little bit more better now. Yeah, so once I played with it, it smoothed out okay and I've kind of um, got rid of that dip. I can see just by looking at the nail there that the apex is still a little bit high, so that will even it out once I go to file the nails. So I'm going back again now to the pointer finger and I'm just going to do the same. There isn't as much a dip in the pointer finger, but the apex was just a little bit low. So um, I've just worked with the product a little bit more and I haven't wiped my brush out or anything. I've kept all the monomer in my brush and just really, really light strokes and it definitely has worked just the way the normal acrylic um, would work if we were um, putting on an extra bead. So because I went in again and filled the gap with um, the coloured acrylic, I definitely, I don't need to cap these over with the clear. So again, that's going to save me some monomer as well. So again, is models correct work smart not harder and you know if you can use less products that's going to save you money as well and also what I've noticed which is a really really big thing because obviously I've got all the time I need to shape the acrylic and put it on the nails it really has cut down the filing and the shaping there's virtually very very little filing and shaping to do once you have the acrylic on so I really really do love this set so glitter bells may have a little bit of competition on their hands 
yeah you know because this product is so easy i have considered rebranding um just because i'm loving it so much but i am going to put another order in i'm going to put in a larger order the next time um just to um go with some of the other colors especially the colors that i know from glitter bells that marble so i'll be ordering like the deep blues and more purples and um i'll check it out that way so yeah i love it So on to the thumbnail and again it's going to be the full coverage of this colour BJ48. Um, as it was the thumbnail I just I, I knew I just wasn't going to do it in one bead um, so I picked up a large bead and placed it just, um, just where my apex would sort of start and um, spread that down to the free edge and now I'm getting in with another large bead and that's going to make up the cuticle area and the apex so hopefully maybe doing it with the two beads like this I shouldn't have um, a dip So I'm more or less finished with that purple colour, I'm going to move on to the nude and um, I'm not going to do the full coverage like I did in my last video. I'm going to use um, my um, Deep V Smile Line Cutter and I'm going to do a cutout on these um, on the middle finger and um, I'm going to do a chevron cutout and then I'll do a little bit of a different design on the ring finger as well. So because I'm going to do a colour out with this, I'm not going in with just as large a bead. What I have noticed with this nude colour, it reacts a little bit different to um, the, the colours um, where it starts to, um, almost like the liquid starts to make it flow just that little bit quicker. Um, so you have to be a little bit faster whenever you're using um, the nudes. So I'm just going to bring this down about um, maybe just over a third of the way down the nail and then I'm going to use that little V cutter to cut out the shape for me. I've used these little cutters in my videos before um, but they've been on my practice hands and it's so much easier whenever you're doing it on a real hand because you have that resistance um, against it which just makes it so much easier to work with. So I'm just using the end of it just to pull away any of the acrylic that's still left on the nail plate and once that I don't need to file it, it has done all the work for me, it's nice and sharp and um, once that has cured I'll go in with my um, next colour. So now that it's started to mattify that little cutout, that chevron cutout, I'm going to go in now with the colour. So I've picked up um, a bead size that's going to cover hopefully the whole nail and I just wanted to see how different this would um, work um, to other acrylics. So it is so much easier um, to put up um, to the sides of that cutout. Um, it's not flowing all over the nail the way some other acrylics would. Um, it's so much easier to work with. And again, because it's a slower setting acrylic, 
I do believe the monomer as well is also a slow setting monomer um, that that just gives you like just so much time just to perfect that it really really does cut down in any of the filing as well I do have to say though I, you know I keep going on about how much I absolutely love this product but I am not affiliated with this product or an ambassador or anything I just bought it because I saw it on Instagram and um, I wanted to try it out for myself so I have and I absolutely love it but yeah I'm not trying to you know make anybody buy this product I'm just showing you um, a product that is, makes our lives so much easier. wow just look at that i can't believe how easy that was it was just oh my goodness if that was um any other product i would have that all over the place by now so now i'm going to move on to the ring finger and this is going to be a cut out so i'm going to bring it down um about a third of the way down the nail and then i'll cut it out in a diagonal line and i'll go in then with some of the purple color and i'll do a color block with that one So I'm just going to use my little craft knife to do this. So um, also, as you can see, the acrylic is literally just starting to mattify, but I've still been able to go in and cut it and it's come away quite cleanly. In with the purple colour now and I'm just doing this as I would with any other acrylic um, product whenever I'm doing a colour block and the more I'm working and playing with this product I can just see how versatile it is that I'm able to um, do shorter sections of acrylic as well as um, full beads that will go down right from the cuticle area right down to the free edge um, so yeah it really is a good versatile product. As you can see before I use my little craft knife I dip it into the acrylic powder beforehand that just means that the acrylic isn't going to stick to my little craft knife and it'll come away much cleaner so again just once that product started to mattify I just went in and did the first slip cut I thought this time I would do a little bit of encapsulation so these little hearts are more or less the same colour and I love the way when the light hits them it kind of changes them so I'm just going to do a little sliver of these um, these little hearts just in between the colour block um, I'll cap it in the clear and cut it out and then I'll go in with the next line of the purple. 
To get the little hearts just to stay um, on the nail, I just put down a little thin layer of the Glitter Bells glass slippers. Now that I've got all those little hearts on, I'm just going to um, cap it with the Glitter Bells glass slippers. Now that the glass slippers has cured, I'm going in with my hand file and I'm just making sure that that um, diagonal line is nice and crisp so that um, I get a nice clean finish whenever I go in with the next bead of purple acrylic. In with the next bead of the purple and I'm just going to, once that starts to mattify, I'll do another cutout and then I'll go in and finish off the rest of the nail with some more hearts. As I really, really love the look of these hearts, I'm just going to finish the bottom part of this nail in all hearts. So I'm just laying down some of the glass slippers and I'm just putting on as many hearts as I can and then I'll encapsulate it by capping it all in the glass slippers again. So I haven't changed my monomer or anything. Um, I'm just using the Nails by John monomer and it seems to be working okay with the Glitter Bell system. Um, I think on their website, the only uh, acrylics that it, or acrylic monomer or system that it doesn't work with is Young Nails.
back to the middle finger there and I just showed you um, I didn't have an apex area so I'm going to go in and cap it and just make an apex area with my glass slippers. So that's something again I'm going to have to work on if I'm doing any cutouts with the Nails by John system um, because I don't want to have to keep capping things in clear acrylic because again you know you're doing double the work and you're using more monomer as well. I've done all my filing and shaping off camera just to keep the length of the video down as you know I never like the video to be too long for you guys so also whenever my order came in from Nails by John I um, also ordered the um, the striping brush the I think it's Nails by Becky I think it's Becky designed this brush um, so yeah I'm going to use some of my Brill Bird gel paints and some of my Brill Bird Magic 6 glitter just to do some swirly lines So the striping brush is a two centimeter so 20 millimeter um, brush and I just went straight in there like a bulldozer um, I should have just let the brush just flow itself and um, go a little bit more slowly so I've wiped it all off and now I'm going with the brush. I'm going to do this same um, swirl pattern on the pointer finger and the ring finger and then I do also do it on the thumb as well um, but I haven't showed that in the video. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and watch me how I do these. I'm doing it um, one nail at a time um, because I don't want to smudge um, any of the lines. Before I go ahead and cure it in my LED lamp I do the little sugar dusting of the, the glitter and that way um, the glitter then sticks directly to the to the gel and cures on top of it so I don't have to worry about it coming off or having to um, seal over or anything.
quick dust off to get rid of all that loose glitter and how gorgeous does that glitter look over that um, lavender gel polish. So on the middle finger and the ring finger I'm going to finish them off by doing a little rhinestone design and I've already laid out the rhinestones on this little piece of paper. That's going to save some time um, for me and I'm just applying my rhinestone glue and I'll directly pop the rhinestones onto it and cure it in my LED lamp. On the ring finger, in keeping with the little heart design, I have these little heart rhinestones, these AB crystal rhinestones, and I'm just going to do like a necklace effect um, rhinestone pattern. So I finished off the middle finger and the ring finger with a gloss top coat and here is the finished set. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up and thank you to all my regular viewers for watching and if you're new to my channel, why not hit that subscribe button and if you hit the notification bell, you'll not miss any more of my videos and I will be back with another video. So take care. See you soon. Bye.